We just sold our old ding today because the reason why we're waiting in Granada is used because we're waiting for our new ding to arrive and supposedly it might be in the marina already waiting for us. Yay! <laughs> I'm Roberta. And I'm Duke. And after two years bringing this sailboat that was neglected for over 22 years back to life, it's finally time to start exploring. So don't forget to subscribe and to join us every Sunday for a new episode. Before we start this episode, just a quick explanation. Yeah, on last week's episode we toured a few abandoned boats and a lot of people believed that we were doing that, trying to replace odd by another abandoned boat and refitting another abandoned boat. No, 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 no. Our intention was never to find a boat that we would leave on the boat. Our intention was just to refit a boat to flip, to sell after we refit. And of course we know it would take a lot longer than five months to refit a 57 foot boat. But just by the way, we are not alone. We were gonna do that with some friends. The reason why the friends were not on the video is because they were in an island north of us. As we needed to sail down to Granada, they were like, oh, so you go check the boats and you let us know if it's even worth. And it so. was quite fun. So we are gonna keep sailing north and enjoying the season. The season has just started. Yeah, we have so <laughs> many islands that we want to visit, so many little places and so many friends we want to meet. So let's enjoy the season and during the season we can make a decision of what to do on hurricane season. But before that, let's get our new dinghy. Let's get started. <laughs> We have a new owner for Frederico already. How did you find the guy? Uh, you you know, you walk in the boatyard, you meet a guy, you become friends, he watches our channel, and then he talks to someone else, he finds someone else that needs a dinghy, and he's like, oh, I have a client for you. I'm like, oh, good. <laughs> so then we sold the dinghy already. It's like, we didn't even announce the dinghy. <laughs> not today. The box of the dinghy was so big that the truck of the marina could not fit the whole box of the dinghy, so they're going to pick up tomorrow <laughs> with a bigger truck. Let's see you tomorrow. Too small. It's better than nothing. Check the dinghy. Now it's for real. Where's the dinghy? In Spice Island. Now let's go pick up our new dinghy. Yoohoo! The day has come. Since we bought our boat, the idea was to have a dinghy with high pollen and aluminum bottle. And today it arrived. Yay, finally! So we left Brazil with our fiberglass PVC dinghy that we bought because in Brazil we couldn't find the aluminum one. And now we are in Granada. There is the taxes are really low here comparing to Brazil. That's 100%. Here is 2%. Two and a half. Two and a half percent. So we could get our dinghy finally. Thanks for the for all the services, but now it's time for you to go. But even though you're gonna get a new dinghy, Frederico was really nice to us, so he's gonna be also nice to his new owner that we sold the dinghy yesterday. And he's a really nice guy that needs that dinghy right now. And here there's a shortage of dinghy. Our dinghy came from the US. The color of the water is so amazing. I think they sent the wrong dinghy because that's way too big for us. That's not a 2.9 meter dinghy. So here it says 310. We are hoping this is just an old box for our old dinghy because we have a 290. 310 we cannot fit anywhere on our boat. Yes. <laughs> are you ready? It's about time to open this beast. Before we do our biggest unboxing ever, I want to welcome Ryan to our Patreon family and Stephen and Larry, thanks so much for the PayPal donation. That was the wrong tool. Let's do this properly. Much easier. Are you curious to see what's 
see what's inside. I'm inside now, it's 290. Came this one with the. Oh. Hey! There's even a cleat. <laughs> you can step here. That's awesome. I'm curious to see what's here. What's oh, a dry bag? And we have the seat that you wanted. I love dingus with seats. Ooh. Nice one. Repair kit. Ah, oh, it's like a new car. <laughs> a new car? Yeah. It's a compass and. Now I hope you don't need to use it. We are finally gonna have a dinghy that we can actually roll. Oh, look at this! But now we need to find a way of splashing this for the first time. The other thing I'm afraid is that this line is not long enough. There's things here already. <laughs> I see a messy girl here. Feeling home. <laughs> it fits. Now we need to see if the hole is long enough. As we suspected, it's a little bit too short. So, quang, quang. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit. Someone always dreaming for having a seat on the dinghy. Wait, wait. And it's leaving even like soft to see. It's like cushions. Mm. Good. But I think now we should go for our actually ride just to test for real. And it's really shoppy today, so it's gonna oh, be yeah. good to see in action. We can store the rows, I don't know how to call it, I think it's a row, either here or on the sides, but as we're not gonna use now, we're just gonna leave on the bottom, I think it's better. And then when we want to row, we just put in. There is space for everything on this dinghy. I love this. Now when we go surfing, I can put my sunglasses on this pocket. Because oh. usually I just put on the locker and get, you know, together with the anchor and just the... I, I lost a few glasses already, sunglasses. Boat deliver time, now we need to deliver Frederic. Sad, Frederic is gonna go to another family now. <laughs> We're gonna meet you, Frederico. They didn't have a longer hose for the dinghy, so we are gonna keep this one for now. It's gonna be fine, but I'm really anxious to have mm -hmm. a, you know, a tank inside the locker. It's gonna be just so awesome. I'm not sure how many times we're gonna go back and forth to the boat today, <laughs> but I'm gonna go to the boat and pick up my surfboard because mm -hmm. me and Dan, we're gonna go surf in a different spot today. He said he's gonna show me a cool place that I don't know yet and that never breaks and today supposedly is breaking. But now, first, we need to try this thing for real for the first time on real speed. Let's see if it's fast. I really like this thing.
our last day in Granada. Yes, we are leaving tomorrow. Yeah, it's a little bit sad. We we really like we've been enjoying hanging out in this island, even though we didn't do all the tourist things, we didn't go to the waterfall, we didn't do a lot of things. But that's just us because we were like, you know, getting our lives back together and here was a really awesome place to do that. Because one of the things we like is to walk around on the streets, smell the place eating on the local restaurant and enjoying the city and also meeting people we met oh, a lot yeah. of good friends here that's awesome we went surfing uh we did a lot of things we went for dinner with friends we went for lunch with friends and that's awesome and now today you're gonna take you to the our favorite local restaurant that's really really good and actually really cheap for the price of the island it was the tip of our friend yep. <laughs> and we love it so let's go it's on the other side of the street this is considered the Wall Street of Granada. All the banks are around here. There is the shopping mall there. So there are many options of restaurants. There are many options. But this is our favorite. Real master. That's really good. It's funny that we are so far from Brazil and somehow it tastes like my mom's food. Yeah, that's awesome. And I love my mom's food. And it works as in Brazil that you can have your food and you can wait your dish and you pay for what. Yeah, that, that means you're not going to eat more than you want just because they put You're going to eat as much as you want and pay for how much as you eat. That's awesome. in the water tank after a month and today we are moving to the next island actually we have never been there so we are really excited
welcome to Karyaku. Mm -hmm. You we made it. Now we need to wait until tomorrow because we're gonna shake out of gra gra Granita. Granita, I never know how to say. So we're gonna shake out of Granita oh, here. Yeah, we're gonna shake out here. I'm not sure if tomorrow or the, ne the next day we'll see. It depends on the forecast because. I don't know if we mentioned that, but going from south to north on the east of the Caribbean for the first part is always like beating against the wind like today. Today was just like literally almost straight on the wind and we are trying to choose the right dates that has not that much wind so it's easier and also we are trying to do as quick as possible because there is some friends from Brazil that we want to meet in Martinique and they, if we don't make in time they're gonna leave. Yeah. So fingers crossed. The color of the water here is amazing and can't wait to show you tomorrow because now it's dark. That was exactly the perfect map to arrive here before it was too dark. I mean, like now you cannot see my face, but we anchor exactly in time for the sunset. That's just beautiful. And now we're just waiting for tomorrow to see how this place looks in the morning during the day. Because this water seems to be beautiful, just beautiful. Good morning from this beautiful place. Check the color of this water, that's just amazing. Oh. It's like a swim. So there are two reasons we are in Caraco. First one, we love discovering new places. And second one is then far north we can go and check out this country. So that's why we stopped here. And that's the first thing of the day. We're gonna check out because after you check out you have 24 hours to leave. So yeah. we're gonna do the bureaucracy first and then we can enjoy the town for a day. We sleep here and tomorrow morning we are out north. Let's discover new places. It's funny how this thing it, it feels so much faster. And it's not like just the final speed, but it plays so much easier than the other one. And the reason for that, I think it floats more on the bottom instead of on the floats. So the floats are more off the water and less drag. I think that's what I believe because it's so much faster. Yeah, all our friends that stopped it here said, no, just check in and out of Granada, not Caracol, because it's always confusing. And we, <laughs> we try not to believe in it's true, it was really confusing. <laughs> Usually, if you come to the Caribbean, there is a thing called Sail Clear, that's a website. You fill up everything on the website and you just have a number and it's so much quicker. But somehow, the guy from Customs is not here and he's the only one that has access to the system. So you need to do by paper and then it's like oh, so much. Work. Now it's time to look for a restaurant so because I'm hungry. we could check out, but the ones that want to check in, they are not allowed because the guy is not here. Yeah, because you need to do customs and immigration. So immigration was here, but customs wasn't here. Who is checking out don't need customs, but who is checking in need customs. So they are like, oh, they're waiting. I don't know for how long they're going to wait. Huh. We are free to go have lunch, finally. It's a what beautiful place. The water here is just amazing. Right. Mm. Chicken, french fries, and cabbage, I guess? Fish. Cabbage. Mm. Yeah, there's one thing we love to do. It's the first thing we do anywhere we go is just to see the supermarket because we need to see what people eat on this part of the world. <laughs> Beautiful fruits. Yeah. How expensive is that though? Beautiful but expensive. <laughs> Thirty-seven. Uh, just treats. Yeah, we, we have enough food on the boat, but every now and then we get some treats for ourselves. Iced tea or buffalo wing sauce. Yeah, for Americans, buffalo wings are a normal thing. For us Brazilians, you never find buffalo wing sauce. So this is really special for us. It's three US dollars. Not bad. I better be practicing how to count the money in a different currency. Thank you. 